A 12-man unit trudges its way through the dense Congolese savanna here in Garamba National Park. Armed with RPGs and belt-fed machine guns, they are prepared for battle. Most of these men are not army soldiers. They are park rangers, here to protect endangered animals and ready to battle poachers at all cost. The enemy coming to Garamba, they are not only coming to get the animals, they are coming for everything. It's a war. Earlier in the day, a small plane flying overhead had spotted a large carcass in the area. The men have been sent to investigate. After two and a half miles, the rangers find evidence of what they had feared. The carcass is freshly killed, a male elephant around 20 years old. Its face has been crudely hacked off for its ivory tusks. There are clear signs that the poachers had been camped out nearby. For these rangers, poaching scenes like these have become all too familiar. This is Jeffrey Gettleman for the New York Times in northeastern Congo. In the past few years, tens of thousands of elephants have been slaughtered across Africa in an increasingly bloody scramble for ivory. Garamba National Park is 1,900 square miles of open savanna, and it has become a magnet for elephant poachers. In places like this, some of Africa's most notorious armed groups, like the Lord's Resistance Army, are hunting down elephants and using the tusks to buy arms. Here is a front line for the poachers. The war in South Sudan, the war in, in Uganda, the war in Congo. All that war have an implication in, 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 in Garamba. More elephants are being slaughtered now than at any time in the past 20 years since an international ban on the commercial ivory trade was put into place. The rise in killings is fueled predominantly by demand for ivory from increasingly wealthy consumers in China. Well, well generally it's about $150 per kilo. But it reaches up there, make it at $1,500, $1,800 per kilo. In Garamba, the park rangers are struggling to keep up. <laughs> Decades ago, Garamba's rangers carried spears. Now they have morphed into a 140-man, heavily armed, combat-ready militia. They have what they call a strong room, packed with cheap, rusty rifles, many snatched from the hands of poachers they've killed. Just outside is a squalid four-room jail where on their own authority, the park rangers hold suspected poachers they arrest inside the park. Paul Onyango is the captain of Garamba's rangers. I was expecting to continue the anti-poaching work that I was doing in Kenya. And actually, I got it. <laughs> I got it. I got more than my share. After 20 years as a high-ranking wildlife warden in Kenya, he moved to Congo to take over the uphill effort to protect the animals here. You see, in Kenya, by level, I was not supposed to go for, for patrols. But here, I've back, come back to the platoon commander. I have to be there. It is a real, real active place. As both poachers and rangers continue to militarize, gun battles have become common in Garamba. Just a few months ago, Paul and his men stumbled upon a group of South Sudanese poachers at this carcass site. The ensuing battle was their fiercest yet. They fired over 800 rounds in 15 minutes before being outgunned. For the, for the first time, I was scared. Well, out of all the contact that day, I was scared. In fact, I thought I was well organized. I could not imagine that poachers could make me <laughs> withdraw. There was no alternative. Using DNA samples from elephant skulls, researchers are gathering evidence to connect the dots and to determine if ivory seized in other parts of the world actually came from elephants killed right here. 
the idea is to send the, the samples to the Interpol, so like that they can compare with the ivories that they can uh, find in the illegal markets. So it's better to take the samples from inside to avoid any kind of contamination. This collection of 22 elephant skulls is from a bloody episode in March when the animals were found in a clump, apparently trying to protect their babies in the center. They'd been shot in the head from above, a wound that could have been inflicted only by a hovering helicopter, the rangers say. The DNA from these skulls may match a large shipment of tusks recently found in a Ugandan airport. Then, park officials and Congolese authorities believe they may have enough evidence to link the helicopter and the killings to the Ugandan army. I think that we are in a moment in the, in the, in the world that is the, 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 the limit. If we don't die to, for protecting animals in some years, they will have nothing, 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 nothing. Everything, everything will be finished. Back out in the savanna, after the poached elephant carcass is found, there's little to be done. The rotting carcass will be left out here, where the hyenas and vultures will soon eat it all. The men take a GPS location, adding this animal to the growing list of murdered elephants. Then, they make their way back to camp. I don't like seeing elephant carcass. The elephants, they are, they, are, they, are, they are part of my family. They are part of my family. So that's what gives me more energy to fight further. Thank <laughs> you.